one of the frequent questions I get is, um, what is the security of the overall system? Now that we have all these components on the internet and uh, we have the management plane separated from the control plane, etc., how do we guarantee that everything um, is secure? I'll present a high level overview and I do recommend that if you have any more detailed questions from customers or you're working on a tender that's a security focused, uh, to get in touch with your VMware or VeloCloud representative uh, because we'll be able to share more details. But on a high level, you have to understand that uh, each of the VeloCloud boxes is built on a hardened Linux image. So we make sure that all the ports that are not necessary are closed and we have protection from things such as port scans or uh, denial of service. There is also a control plane policing in force and that makes sure that under stress uh, the box will still be able to uh, forward uh, control plane information. Now you, you have the orchestrator here on top uh, and um, obviously uh, you need a username and a password in order to get in. Uh, we highly recommend you to either use uh, things such as uh, single sign-on uh, all multi-factor authentication. So uh, this is where you can use SMS or tokens uh, to just make sure that in case uh, somebody finds out the username and a password, uh, they will need a second device in order to uh, log in. Uh, once you log in, uh, we do have a role-based uh, accounting. As I described previously, there are multiple ways uh, you can interact with the solution. You have the enterprise accounts, uh, you have the partner accounts and also the operators uh, and there are subdivisions in within all these roles to make sure that for example certain people will only be able to view things rather than uh, configure them now when the solution components talk to one another uh, they do so securely so obviously the orchestrator needs to talk to the gateways or the edges uh, uh, you know the gateways need to also um, talk to um, their assigned edges as well. And this actually happens via uh, TLS 1.2 over uh, TCP 443. So that is um, management traffic. And then obviously for, uh, for data plane security, um, every time we do cloud VPN or connect to third parties, uh, this is where we use IKSEC. And this is also used to secure uh, edge to edge communication uh, because even if we use proprietary uh, VCMP, that was the, the tunnel name, right? Uh, IPsec will allow us to encapsulate and secure it. Now the operators can set uh, the security policies across the VPNs, uh, but um, you do have the option to secure things with AS128 uh, or 256. Uh, you can use IKV1 or V2. And uh, SHA1 or 256 for integrity. Again, I want to keep this session short and just highlight the main security features of the solution um, and i'd recommend uh, you get in touch with your vmware or velocloud account executive or se uh, in case you need more clarifications